Hi everybody, my name is Lindsay Bell, artist, crafter, and writer. Today in our segment, I'm going to show you how to make scented paper roses from everyday products that you already have in your home that you do not have to go out and purchase anything for. Here are the few of the supplies that you're going to need. You're going to need a vase with tissue paper, coffee filters, glue, twist ties, a few beads, glitters, and your flavored drink mix. What you want to do is get out two bowls, fill it full with room temperature water. The colored drink mix that you put in here is going to be the color of rose you're going to have. Also, it will be the scent of the rose that you're going to have. The longer the coffee filter stays submerged into the water, you will need to let this sit for just a few minutes. The longer it stays, the darker the color is going to be. And it can stain the tip of your fingers. If that doesn't bother you, you can put on a pair of gloves and use. Uh, but it will stain for just a little bit. But for the sake of time, I've already done a, a red one here. Got it out to show you. This, this filter here was submerged uh, for maybe two minutes or so. Pulled and laid out flat to dry. Once the paper filter, cup filter, has dried, you'll want to pick it up, turn it upwards, squeeze into the center, and bunch together. What you will you will start to see a nice paper rose emerge from the coffee filter. To hold it in place, you take a twist tie along the bottom of the stem that it will create. You use twist tie and it's done. You can make bigger bouquets of scented paper roses by adding several small paper roses here together and it will create a nice big bundle for you. Once you get through this process you can put them in your vase, use them for decoration, uh, catering, you can put them on tables, weddings. It's a nice unique way to adorn your tabletop. Once you are completely finished, you can take these to embellish them, dip them with a little bit of glue, you can sprinkle them with glitter, you can sprinkle them with pixie dust, and beads. That is uh, solely up to yourself as to how you want to design, embellish, and make. You can mix the colors with them. It doesn't take very long to do. It's a nice, easy project. Spend quality time with the kids. Have an item that no one's ever seen. Call it your own. In our next segment, I will teach you how to make garden markers. Quick and easy, within five minutes. Thank you for looking at the segment. I'm Lindsay Bell, and I will be back with the garden marker. Craft on!